Can Melo make a return to Denver and retire there? That's an interesting idea, Jimmy. It sure is. I, You know what? If I had to see Melo go somewhere, because everybody knows hater Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy hates Carmelo. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> if he had to go somewhere, if I had to watch him play next year, I would actually be excited to watch him go back to Denver, put that Nuggets jersey back on. That, would, that would be interesting. It wasn't the, the, the smoothest exit. It was. It's kind of like the Vince Carter idea. When Very he left so. Toronto, it wasn't the greatest exit. But I, I could see it being a fun ending there. And plus, if Michael Porter Jr. isn't quite ready, maybe he exactly. could have a bench roll there, can uh, offer some points off the bench. So I like that question from Coach Dreadhead. 12.22 p.m., Again, use hashtag Mello. Will Mello fit on the Pelicans? I don't think so. They've got their veteran score in J.J. Redick. I think there's a there's a clear youth movement going on there. And I know we just talked about Denver making a little bit of sense. They're a little further along in the process. That's sure. a bit different. I think you focus on these young guys in New Orleans. And Mello at this point in his career, uh, career, even though he doesn't really have one right now, he's more of a four. I mean, he's going to play the power forward position and – the Pelicans don't really need that right now. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. I, I can see, hey, maybe we need some more scoring off the bench, but like Harrison said, you've got that in Redick. Yeah, so I don't think that is a great fit in New Orleans. Should the Warriors sign Carmelo Anthony? This one from Epic Gamer 4322 This one's been thrown out there a couple of times. I just – the Warriors are a very – you know, ball movement, team chemistry type of team. And I know they're probably going to run more pick and roll now that D'Angelo Russell is in the mix there, but I, I don't love that fit there. I, if it's any team on the West Coast, I still think it's going to be the Lakers. Yeah, I agree with you there. Look, at first I, I was kind of against this idea of Melo going to the Warriors, and then I looked at their depth and I was like, time out. They're starting small forward while Clay is out as like Alfonso McKinney. <laughs> so <That's> true. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, it might make some sense. But I agree with Harrison there. I think I lean more toward the Lakers. Yeah, I don't think that will happen in Golden State. Tyler Burbeck, Mello to the Mavs. Jimmy, I'll leave this one to you. <laughs> nope, I do not want uh, I and Mavs fans around the world probably do not want Carmelo Anthony around Luka Doncic or Kristaps Porzingis. I know Porzingis and Melo probably had an okay relationship in New York, but no thanks. Type H in the chat if you think uh, Jimmy's being a hater. I, Melo to the Mavs. I kind of agree with them, though. I don't, I don't think it... They're, okay, they're, kind, of, they're kind of like the Pelicans. They're, they've got a youth movement going on there. Uh, Dre M54, uh, use hashtag Melo. Dwight Howard or Melo, who will get signed first? Um... It's got to be Dwight, right? Well, I, here's the thing. Dwight Howard hasn't officially been bought yeah, out by the Grizzlies. Technically, he is still in Memphis, but we expect him to get bought out at some point. He's either going to get bought out. They want to try to trade him, the same thing they're doing with Iguodala, which no. how about that? The, the Grizzlies have Iguodala and Dwight Howard. Imagine if that was five years ago. Now I the know, Grizzlies right? would be monstrous. But I would, if Dwight Howard receives a buyout, I'd expect him to get picked up before Carmelo Anthony. Oh, I think so. I think he would already be on a team if uh, if he was available. But Grizzlies hanging on to him. I understand why. I think Iggy, they might be able to trade, but I don't see uh, them being able to trade Dwight Howard. So we will say Dwight Howard over Melo. All right, guys. Comment the first word that comes to mind. I want to get some shout word. It can be anything. Here. Don't don't cuss. YouTube will kick you out. Oh, you know so they're going it, to. We got keep, some dirty keep, watchers Keep here. it appropriate, but type the first word that comes to mind, and we will uh, read some of them out in the chat. Uh, Mine so, was monkey. M monkey just popped into mellow, my head. Mellow. Zaza. Uh, Zaza. Of course. Word. Hater. Hater. Uh, oh, got there it is. Taco. Jimmy. The Jewish man, you cannot cuss. It's gonna block you. That, that's why. That's why your chat's not showing. Yeah, we up. want you back in the chat. So keep keep it appropriate. Scalabrini. Uh, Scalabrini. Nice. I have his jersey. Talk fact. Okay, we're, that's that is the worst jersey to have. Brian Scalabrini. <laughs> Andres Beatrice. Kings. Good one. Taco. Lonzo. Devante. These are like this is like the first name that came. Yeah, they're to thinking mind. of guys. NBA names. First word. It could be any word. Someone said buns. That's a word. It's a word, right? Yeet. <laughs> Is that a word? Has Webster's approved that? So keep those coming in, and we'll get back into the Q&A here. Sports news, wrestling, and highlights. I like that name. It's yeah, fun channel. I'm going to check it out. Hashtag mellow to the Lakers. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know, like, fit-wise if it really makes the most sense, but we know him and LeBron are boys. Him and Anthony Davis ha have a decent relationship. I, I think it could make a little bit of sense if you bring him off the bench. I think they have enough shooting now in that bench unit where if you were to bring him in, I don't think it's the worst idea. I do think it's the most likely, but I don't like it because you've got Avery Bradley, who's already a veteran. you gotta you got to get him back on track. Yeah. Bam McGee, DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, you know, Rondo, those are that's like four veteran guys that you're trying to already say, like, hey, we need you to get back into the groove. 
You don't need a fifth one in Mellow to try to do that. So I'm out, but I think it'll happen. The Brennanator, how about heading back to the Knicks? I saw this one floated out there too. This actually makes a deep, even more sense because the Knicks aren't really contending. That's going to put people in the seats in Madison Square Garden. That, yeah. Like, look, there is a big chunk of Nick fans that, like, are love Melo. Like, oh, no sure. matter what Absolutely. he's done, no matter what he will do, they are always going to be loyal and love Carmelo Anthony. And for decent reason. Look, he wanted to be in New York. He never really wanted to leave New York. It's it just circumstances happened, and which led him getting traded to uh, OKC. But I wouldn't hate this idea. I don't hate the idea. You know, again, we talked about it already. He's kind of more the stretch four nowadays. Yeah. And uh, they signed every power forward available <laughs> on the market. But if he if he's like, hey, I want to play the three, I'm, I'm sure the Knicks would have no problem maybe putting him there. We'll quick, see. quick teaser for you guys. We're going to do our top ten small forwards uh, in the NBA. Melo did not make the list. No, he did not Unfortunately, make the list. It's Sorry, not 2012. Guys. Mike Oxmall. How many points would he average today off the bench? It depends on what team. If he's on a non-contender, he could probably still score 13 to 15 points off the bench. If he's on a contender, what, 8, 10 points? I'd uh, say 6 you know? to 8. Yeah, 6 to 8, hopefully on mid-40s percentage. I mean, you'd hope 42, 43 hey, you percent. hope he's not going out there and just shooting everything he touches. Yeah, he's uh, building a lot of houses with those bricks he's been putting up the last couple of years. Yeah. All right, Z, hashtag Mello. Is Mello a top 10 scorer of all time? Uh, I don't think he – he's not in the top 10 – well, when it comes to literally, like, literal, I don't think he's top 10. I think peak Mello is a top 15 isolation offensive player. He, he Look, it, for about I'd five to seven that. years, he was an incredible ISO guy. Good mid-range game, fadeaway, could get to the basket. You know, wasn't a great three-point shooter, but he he was always great at getting separation and getting that look. Look, he's one of the better isolation uh, scorers in NBA history. Yeah, I agree. I don't I, think that's I don't think that's overstating. I mean, that's not factoring the lack of defense and the lack of you know. This is purely score. Yeah, I'm talking about just purely as an offensive score. Yeah, he's one of the better ISO scores of all time. So I I don't think that's too much of a stretch there, Z. No, I agree. All right, guys, get us to 150,000 subscribers. We know you guys love the NBA. We got a bunch of you guys watching. We're at we crossed 130k a few weeks back. We're trying to get to 150k before the season gets here in October. We're approaching 132k. We want to zoom right past 140k. Uh, get us to 150k. Hit that red subscribe button. YouTube.com/slash/ChatSportsTV. Jimmy's going to continue to plug out videos. Tom, me, we're going to keep these uh, NBA uh, videos going. We know you guys like the content. Help us out subscribe youtube.com slash chat sports tv let's go back to the brennanator do you think if Melo goes to the spurs popovich can coach him to be a smarter player i don't I think there's any coach i mean i love uh, greg popovich is arguably the best coach of all time but there is no coach that could take Melo and just make him quote a smarter player the only thing that's going to make Melo a smarter player is if he just accepts whatever role he's given but let, let's go back to the original question if Melo could go to the spurs or if he did go to the spurs he ain't going to the Spurs. First of all, that's no. never happening. The Spurs no. are not bringing on Carmelo Anthony. And two, he is who he is at this point, right? Yeah. Like, he's a guy that maybe you can bring him off your bench and he can score a little bit for you. Like, yeah. that that's what he's offering to you. He's not a great three-point shooter. He's not going to defend. He's not very efficient. But when he gets going, he's a decent scorer off somebody's bench. That's what you're looking for if maybe. you bring in Carl. You're hoping for yeah. if you bring in Carmelo Anthony. Here's an idea from Jai Vai Nee. <laughs> Mellow to China. I think he's been watching a lot of my videos here because I have advocated for uh, Carmelo yeah. Anthony to the Beijing Ducks. Uh, Arma Amari Stoudemire made a bunch of money last year uh, heading over there, and now he's getting tryouts for the NBA. So Amari did knows? it, and Stephon Marbury, he's Stephon Marbury is getting – he has a statue in China from how good he was over there playing basketball. So if Mello just wants the fame and the fortune and, and you know, all the recognition, you go to China – you dominate him. And hell, real, real talk, he would make more money in China than here because he's getting the minimum here. There was like a guaranteed three and a half million yeah. for like NBA players Dude, in China what, right what, now. what did what's his name get? Uh, Miritich, he got 70 million overseas. Oh, yeah. I know that wasn't in China, was in but Spain. basketball is growing in China in a major way. So I, I actually do not think this is a bad idea at all. Look, I never liked using Melo in NBA 2K because he's not a good three point shooter. The way I play, you got to be able to shoot the three. That's why the Warriors are the most fun team to use because they can all shoot. But 
you guys want 2K20, sign up with our sports partner, MyBookie. You sign up, you deposit, you place that first bet, use that promo code CHATNBA, you put $100 down, they're going to give you 100 bucks for free. And then here's the key. Email us, promo at chatsports.com. We'll hook you, hook you up with NBA 2K20. you got to place that first bet, though. So you can't just sign up and deposit and get the game. No, you got to place that bet, then you email us, then we hook you up with 2K when it comes out on September 6th. Yeah, sign me up. Sign up with MyBookie right now. Go get it done. Back to a few more Q&As here before we get to that small forward list. The Brennanator, if he went to China, what would his stats be like? Jimmer Fredette put up like 50 a game. He would score something. a bunch. He wouldn't be efficient, but he'd probably score like 35 a game. I'd say 35 points and like 10 boards and maybe half an assist uh, <laughs> in, over in China. I think that's that's mellow in China. I think that is probably fair to stay. Here's another one from Jai Vai to U.S. national team. Okay, we joked around in the office the other day. Everybody is backing out of playing for the U.S. Uh, national team. Uh, Landry Shamit just had to pull out because of an injury. By the way, did you see him just dunk on Bill Simmons on Twitter? Because oh, Bill yeah. Simmons was like, there's just no way Landry Shamit's backing out. Like, It's one thing when the top guys are, but Landry Shamit. But then he said, hey, dude, I got an injury. Back yeah. off. So yeah. get dunked on Bill Simmons. But anyway, look, I think this would be kind of fun. Like, He's the last guy on the bench, right? He can be a mentor for some of the young guys. And look, he's going to get into the Hall of Basketball Hall of Fame primarily or not primarily, but largely due to his contributions to the U.S. national team. Yeah, look, I don't think he's going to make it to the U.S. national team, but uh, you know where he could make it? The Hall of Fame. Sports mm. News Wrestling and Highlight says, will Carmelo Anthony make the Hall of Fame? And since it's not the NBA Hall of Fame, since it's just, hey, this is Basketball Hall of Fame, yes, Carmelo Anthony should absolutely be there. I mean, he, he was incredible on the national team, incredible in college. I mean... Over his career, he was great. It's just, you know, these last three to four years just fizzled out. Look, say what you want about him. For about 10 years, he was a top 10 scorer in this league, at yeah. times a top five scorer. Like, that's just the bottom line. <laughs> like, I, he's one of those guys, do you want to build a championship roster around him? Probably no. not. But in his heyday, one of the best scorers in the NBA. He is absolutely a basketball Hall of Famer. But we'll ask you guys, do you think he's a Hall of Famer? Type Y for yes, type N for no. We both think he's Hall of Famers, like, again, elite score in his prime which lasted for about 10 years yeah he could have given more effort on the defensive end but it's not like the pro football hall of fame or especially right. a baseball hall of fame where the credentials to get in are much tougher yeah uh basketball hall of fame far lesser players than carmelo anthony have gotten in he is certainly worthy of getting into the hall of fame 